if you change your mindset and really focus it on what discipline really is, you start to welcome discipline. You welcome self-discipline into your life. You are at where you're at because you're choosing to be there. I want you to think about that. And you might have all these excuses, all these reasons, justifiable. Justifiable why you're at where you're at, but I want you to understand you are at where you're at because you're choosing to be there. Stop buying into the bullshit story you tell yourself that you can't do it and just go for it and see what happens. You've got to win. You gotta take responsibility for where you're at, sometimes even if it's not your fault, and then you gotta go get after it. It's time to readjust our comfort zones. It's time to figure out whatever majority is doing, I'm gonna find myself doing the opposite. Figure out in your life all of the short-term pleasures that you are so used to giving into and start challenging those. Start shaking them up a bit. Your future self will thank your present self later. So learn how to control your focus. Learn how to think about what the end result is. Learn how to use the natural momentum and energy you have the secret and the key is consistency. You have to work extremely hard. Also, I know that you can do it, but you have to stay committed to the process, guys. If you don't believe it, you won't achieve it. It's so simple. So we have to understand what is the ambition and have great clarity to it. You have got to put in the time. You've got to put in the hours. And guess what? It's the one thing we can all control. Regardless of our skills, regardless of our talents, it's the one thing we can control, and it's how hard we work. So I challenge you today, get out there and work hard. Don't go back into the little life again. Don't give in to that stuff. Don't be somebody who surrenders their destiny just to live a little quiet life. Run from small people with small ideas. Remember you were born for a reason. When you keep in mind why you started, when you keep in mind what your goals are, when you keep in mind what it is you're trying to accomplish, and you keep those things you know, at the forefront of your brain, you know, written down everywhere you see anything, and you think about them and focus on them a day in and day out basis, guys, your chances of making it through these, these frustration curves increases tremendously. So you have to be scared to be courageous. Does that make sense? But at the end of the day, guys, when you start feeling that massive frustration, that massive anger, that massive irritation and massive stress, you are about to have a breakthrough. You are about to move through a, an area that most people can't make it through. And you've just gotta keep moving. Because when you make it through that area, that's where shit gets fun. Because when you're working on fitness, you gotta work on that shit every day. You gotta work, you gotta, you gotta train right, you gotta eat right, you gotta sleep right, and you gotta set these goals every day, these little benchmarks, things you have to accomplish. And if you do those things, if you set those goals, those daily goals, and then do them, then you start to believe in yourself. You start to believe, you keep the promises you make to yourself. You start to believe that you're gonna do what you say you're gonna do.
you got to have this stuff inside you. you got to have the heart of a champion. Learn to appreciate the occasional storms that come in your life. Just learn to appreciate how small they are, the occasional storms that come every day. And then that's the ingredient of how you really deal with pain. Comfort is complacency, and the more comfortable you try to make yourself feel, the less challenged you're going to become. It's a choice you have to make of, I am no longer gonna let this happen. Go out and live the life you deserve. Choose to win, control your thinking, and go win big. I'm begging you, man. I'm begging you from a man's from me. Let go. Let go. Let go of these people who you know aren't for you. But what keeps that competitive edge, what keeps you on top, is the ability to think and prepare mentally over and over and over again. So you can change to get great. You can change to become whatever you need to. And if you're leveraging an earlier win, so much the better. If it's something that you have that little spark of early talent, and now you're just putting the work on top of that, fantastic. But it is the people that are willing to literally break themselves in half to get the result that they want. But what I want you guys to understand is intensity is required. Putting in the work is required. Doing more work than anybody else is required for greatness. We limit ourselves and it's only us. There's nobody else that's doing it to you. You've chosen to adopt those beliefs. And once you push yourself outside of that comfort zone, what becomes possible is absolutely miraculous. The body has limitations, the mind does not. You know, life is a roller coaster ride for everybody. It has its ups and its downs, but it's a fact of the matter that everybody works hard to get somewhere. You keep thinking you're waiting for the right time. When winter comes, you go find your little acorns, right? You think you're gonna find them? Let me tell you something. You keep burying those dreams, the longer you wait, the harder they are to find. It's time you dig those things out right now and find them and put them right in front of you again and go chase them. And what you have to remember, it all starts with the discipline. You set goals to grow. You set goals to reach inside and stretch and go where you've never been. You set goals to take you to a place you've never gone before. And you grow as a human being and you know something, you never go back.